Okay, before we get into today's video, guys, I am doing a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway over on my podcast YouTube channel at College Me Easy Podcast. The rules to enter are very straightforward and you have a very good chance of winning because we only have 117 subscribers right now. Rule number one, just head over to our channel, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Step two, go on TikTok and follow our TikTok page at College Me Easy Podcast. I'll link it below. Step three, comment on a video saying that you followed us on TikTok. That's it. You'll be entering entered into the giveaway to win $25. High chance of winning. Now let's get into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video of Life Made Easy. And today, guys, I'm going to be explaining three short tips on how you can increase your overall PC speed without too much investing into it, actually. So without further ado, let's just hop right into it. And if you guys would be so kind, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and make sure to go check out the College Me's podcast and enter into the giveaway because you have a really high chance of winning. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Number one, install an NVMe SSD or an M.2 SSD into your motherboard. SSDs make data transfer so much quicker because there are no moving parts like a hard drive in order to access or transfer data. SSDs are static, they're no they're not moving and the data can be accessed insanely fast, making load times very very quick whenever you're opening up a file. Um, this goes even further if you have Windows installed on an SSD, boot times are insanely fast compared to if you have Windows installed on a hard drive because it has to rotate and accessing the data takes a lot more time because it's mechanical and it's actually moving. Step number two, add a Wi-Fi adapter or ethernet. This relates to internet connection. A lot of the times your PC just using the desktop apps and such, but then when you go on the internet, everything's laggy and it's slow because your internet speed is not very fast. Now you could go out and pay for more internet. However, I don't recommend that. I recommend either getting ethernet um, if you have it, maybe move your desktop closer to an Ethernet port or go out and get a Wi-Fi adapter that can increase your overall connectivity to Wi-Fi. Say if you're really far away in your house, you could buy one of these and boost the connection and boost your Internet speeds. That's what I did on my PC. Um, if you guys haven't checked out that video, I'd highly recommend it. It's very useful. I could link one below if you would like or you could go check out that video. Either works. Step number three, swap out the CPU for a better one. Now this one out of the three is probably the most difficult. And the reason for that is you actually have to know your way around a computer and a motherboard and know how to actually access the CPU container on your motherboard. It's basically underneath your CPU fan, you remove the fan, um, you undo the hinge, you pull out the CPU and you put the new one in. Now, just to be clear, you have to have a CPU that's compatible with your motherboard. For example, if you have an AMD motherboard and you try to put an Intel processor in there, it's probably not going to work. I recommend going to pcpartpicker.com and making sure those parts are compatible. Usually they will be if you're just up updating a uh, like same brand processor, like if you're going from AMD to AMD or going from Intel to Intel. So when you boost your CPU, you're boosting the brain power of your computer, making uh, accessing data faster, opening files faster. Uh, the list goes on. Um, when you increase the power of your CPU, you're basically boosting speeds all across the board. Um, and you can also get an external GPU. However, that's on the, on the list. That's a, sort of like a side thing that you could do as well to help uh, de decrease load times and make your computer a little bit more powerful. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial. If you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see more PC tutorials like this, if you want to see more PC reviews like this, where I go check out desktops and laptops, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear it. As, a, as always, subscribe to the channel and go check out the giveaway on the College Me Easy podcast. See you guys in the next one. Peace.